Subscribe to Scratch and I'm out here in the UK and Australia Council Tour, man. Much love. And you know he's rocking with man. It's a little easy. Easy and me about that online. So you can get Scratch, man. You know, but we made it back with our life. Yeah. And then two years later, that nigga came to my mama house. We could have jumped Master P and Phil Mo, but I never, I squashed it. That was 1994 when Master P came and asked me to produce some music for his, for his first real album, The Ghetto Trying to Kill Me. And yeah, yeah. Yeah, shout out to Master P though, man. Shout out to the whole Richmond, man. Love y'all. That was my, that's my time on this story right here. Why did Master P stop showing love to Richmond? Because Richmond, Master P got into it with some Richmond niggas too. You Master P named some gangsters. They wasn't no, like, no lightweight niggas. He was about that action. But once he started popping in the rap game, he started getting hated too. And he didn't get a lot of love from niggas. So the love that he did got, he was like, fuck it, I'm taking it back to New Orleans. Yep, he took the game back to New Orleans. When he signed with Priority Records, one year after 94, 95, April 13th, I signed with Priority. He signed with Priority April 17th, and the rest is history. He took his game back down south. You know what I mean? Nah, real shit. You know, this is this is this is the history of how the rap game went. You know what I mean? This is good history right here. Good knowledge. You know what I mean? King George, uh, King George. Fell out with Master P at the wrong time. Uh, King George was powerful too. He helped. He helped Master P. You know, in the beginning, he was part of No Limit Crew, but it was a power struggle. But P was the leader, and King George wasn't the leader. But he had. He tried to have a dispute with P about some business, and and once they had that dispute, P was like, "Fuck it. If that's how you feel." You go your way, I go my way. No Limit Records, this is my shit. So King George continued to do his own thing. Shout out to King George for still trying, you know what I mean? He didn't never stop trying. He just kept doing it the best way he could by himself. You know, he never got the status that he probably was aiming for or the money, but he still, you know, was a factor in the No Limit movement. You know what I mean? Yeah. If he said I'm lying, then I'm dying. Yeah, so that's what happened though, man. And uh, you know, it's a lot of shit that that took place that you know the, the new generation don't know about. Yeah, shout out to K. Lou. He did his thing. Now, if you make it out of Richmond, you did good. Boy, it ain't easy in the Bay Area, man. It's a lot of killing and shit, man. A lot of hate that take place in the Bay Area. You gotta really be on your shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, there we see family, another dope story. Definitely shouts out to JT, the whole film, uh, you know, uh, get low players, all that stuff. You know, definitely dope hearing JT on the West Coast Bad Boy compilation and other stuff. Good story, definitely dope that him and P was able to make P squash things out and keep things on a nice level. Peace, family. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and check us out on bout.online.com. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook for exclusive playlists and social media for all different types of segments and content.